Hey everyone, welcome back to Foxtech and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to change your iPad from displaying the time in the 24-hour format to the 12-hour format or the other way around and this is a quick and a simple process but it can make a huge difference in how you view the time of your device so for example you might see 13 o'clock or 1 p.m so you essentially switch between these options right so at first let's understand the time format so ipad shows time in consistent format across the various locations so you have time on the lock screen you have time in the upper corner inside of every app that you use in the menu bar or whatever you want to call it so if you want to change it it's going to affect every single thing right so you need to open up the settings on your ipad and in the general settings page look for a section labeled the general and in there you can find the option called date and a time and this section is where you can adjust all your time related settings at the very top of the date and a time settings you'll see an option labeled 24 hour time and this is where you can enable or disable the 24 hour time format if the toggle is turned on your ipad will display the time in 24 hours meaning instead of showing like 5 pm it's gonna be 17. if the toggle is turned off your ipad will use the 12 hour format showing times like 1 pm 2 pm and so on so this setting is a great one for those who have a strong preference for one format over the other but at the end of the day it's not that big of a deal i'm pretty sure that a lot of people understand both formats but yeah it's important to know that while changing this setting in iOS will affect the system-wide time display, some individual apps might have their own time format setting. So if you use a clock widget on the home screen, which you have downloaded from the App Store, this change may not apply to this. So you, for example, will probably have to just adjust the settings in the actual app itself instead of the system-wide iPad or iOS settings. But that's essentially it. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I will catch you in the future.